Hi, welcome to another stage of Microsoft Word. So today we are going to be talking about the mail merge in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. All right. So talking about the mail merge, it actually means sending a document via mail to so many people. If only if you just have them listed in your database. So now you need to get your database first before doing or proceeding with this. So how do you get our database? I did mine in Excel. So I'm just going to open my Excel. Now this is my database. It's having my first name, the last name, email, contact address, and all of that. So these are all the emails. Look at them here. And these are the details of each of the person I will be sending this to. So I'm just going to save it in Excel. So I have done that already. So now, okay, let me close this. Okay, so you go to mailings, uh, mailings, go to mailings, then you click on start mail merge. I click there and I click step by step mail merge wizard. So you can also start with the letter, also email messages, and all of that. So I'm just going to use this, all right? Then it pops up. So now, when this pops up, I'm going to use an existing list that is which one I actually created my database I created in my Excel so this is that is one I'll be using so I'll leave that then I'm going to select a different list good when I click there now so I'm just going to go to select that database I saved I saved it in my desktop all right so this is it and I click open so now this is it. Let's say we're having so many sheets in our Excel. So we're just going to select the particular sheet where we have those details. So I have just one sheet and I'm just going to click OK. Now, these are all the details. We have the last name here. Look at it written here. We have the first name, the city, and all of that. So you can actually select who and who you can send this to. Or if you don't want to send this to just, you just want to send this to just one person, you can select it. So let's say I want to send it to just one person. Just uncheck this. Maybe to just this and this, maybe then I can proceed by clicking OK. But whereby I will send it to everybody, I'll just click on this because it definitely would be sending it to everybody in the database. So I click OK. Now, good. So it's now time for me to insert the address and the, the, the name there in my document. So I'm just going to come to insert match field. I'll click on first name. No, sorry. So it should be here. Click on first name and give space, and then the last name. So I go under. I'm going to put the address under the city and the country. And the country. All right. So now, there I'm going to be putting the first name and the last name first name remember to always give space and the last name so now I'm done with this so I'm going to click on next write your letter so I will not be writing anything because I already have my letter here this is it here so I'm just going to click on preview your letters good now this is it this is it preview now remember I had this in my database so this is for Gabriel, Gabriel White, number four. This is the street, the city, and the country. And if you watch here, this is dear Gabriel White. So now let me go to my database so you can understand. Now this is it here, Gabriel White. This is the address, this is the city, and the country. So you need your database ready before you can actually get your mail merge done. So I'll click on next, complete the message. All right, so now, Mail merge is ready to produce your letter. So you can actually print it if you want to print, or you can edit this for as individual letters. All right, so that is all you need to know about the mail merge. So now the mail merge has actually been sent now to who to those mails in our database. So you can keep trying this so you get used to this. So we will come to the end of our class for today. See you guys now next class and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time and stay safe.